with us. We're now joined by junior guard for the Shepherd Rams, Daniel McLean. Corley, how are you doing today, Daniel? Good. How about yourself? We're doing great over here, and uh, great game for you personally last night, but you guys didn't come up on the winning end. It seems like uh, the last few, uh, I'd say probably a week or so, it seems like you've been on a pretty hot streak over 20 points a game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What, uh, what kind of has led to your little upswing here in scoring and then your career high uh, when you guys knocked off East Stroudsburg? Uh, coach was just looking for me to just be aggressive at all times because uh, I remember, I think it was probably like two weeks ago, I had like a bad shooting game against Mercy Earth, and he was telling me to just keep keep shooting and keep getting in the gym and shots are going to fall for us. So I just listened to him, and it turns out that it, it worked out for us. Hi, Daniel. This is Nick Verzellini. Uh, you dealt with um, some injuries last season, uh, and you've came back this year and really, like we said, have picked it up as of late. What's it been like to, I guess, go through that rehab process and, and now to start to see you uh, have success on the, on the court scoring? I feel like the injury was a good and bad thing at the same time. I feel like it was a good thing because I got to see – sit and watch basketball a lot and just take it all in and see what to do in certain situations and what not to do in certain situations. And as far as the rehab process, it was it was long, but I feel like it went it went kind of fast the way that the season went by. So I feel like it went kind of fast. As soon as the season ended, I pretty much started playing basketball again in the off season. Daniel, Colin McLaughlin here. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. So kind of had a similar situation in what you're in this year for last year. It was a up-and-down start for the team, and then out of nowhere, Kyle Daggett really became a leader and had some production on the offensive end to really try to take control and push for a playoff spot. Now you're kind of in that situation trying to lead the team in scoring and push Shepard into a postseason spot. So what's it been like for you as a late to – get to be in that role with this team this year? It's been a great challenge. Uh, I've been looking forward to it since, really since my freshman year. I've been telling the coach that I want to be like one of the best players in the conference, and I want to just help lead the team to a good record and possibly to the tournament. So I feel like, I think I, I could do better, but I feel like I'm doing well so far. And Daniel, new addition to the coaching staff this year, it's been uh, Giancarlo uh, Pacheco. How much has he brought as an assistant to this team? He brought he's brought a lot. He actually surprised me a lot. He uh, he brings a lot of energy to practice. He he talks to us about the little things, and he just he gives us good advice on the court, on and off the court. So I I think he's doing a good job. Yo, Dan, it's Gerald here. Um. I've been watching you play since our freshman year, bro, and I just got to say, watching you play is like watching poetry in motion. What goes through your mind when you're on that basketball court, man? Uh, I just feel like as soon as I touch the court, I'm just in attack mode. I'm just in attack mode all game, and I feel like with my skills, I could just get easy shots for my teammates and just help lead us to a win. Daniel, you guys have had some tough losses here, back-to-back uh, -back games now. Um, what are you trying to do as one of the leaders on this team to, uh, I guess, turn those close games into wins here down the stretch so you can uh, hopefully make a run in the PSAC tournament? Uh, I'm thinking that we're trying to make a, uh, a major decision as to like, what – what are we doing at the end of those games to allow the other teams to quick get back in and possibly take the lead? So I feel like we just we just got to come up with a solution at the end of the games because I feel like at the end of the game, some teams, they throw like a press at us and it kind of rattles us up a little bit. And I feel like we get too complacent at the end of the game, not like the start of the game where everybody comes out fast and ready to play. So I feel like we just got to, we just got to get better at those situations, and we're going to be all right. This Saturday, you guys get to host Cuts Town, a team right behind you in the standings, but it should be a winnable game for you guys nonetheless. Uh, let's start off, and what have you guys seen on film for Cuts Town, and then what is you guys need to do to get the win? We actually haven't uh, 
seen Cuss Town yet. We don't really know much about them, but I know that no game is an easy game in the peace stack. So we're just going to come out ready, and hopefully our fans are there to give us a lot of energy so we can pull out this win on Saturday. And looking back to the matchup last year, you guys beat them first game 65 63 in overtime and then got a 68 60 win you unfortunately you personally didn't get to play in those due to your injury uh what was it like watching those games from the sideline out cuts town and football is a big rivalry is it as big on the basketball court uh i think it could be because i think that we we've had i think we have beaten them every every game since my freshman year i think yeah i don't think they never beat us yet so i feel like they gonna come in hungry for a win, especially in our place. So I feel like we just gotta protect our house and show them that this is not a fluke. We're gonna keep beating them day in and day out. Hey, uh Dan, who would you say is Shepherd Shepherd Man's basketball rival rival team in the PSAC? I would say definitely definitely Shipmansburg and definitely Millersville for sure. All right, Dan, thanks for the time, and I hope to catch up with you down the line this year.